Thank you, Lassie and Kula. Lassie and Kula, I have to say I'm staggered by the tone and the nature and the exchanges in this debate. The unreality of what's going on here is something which I don't think will be lost on people outside this house. I wonder why so many people marched in the march, in the first march, in the second march, and will march again on the 10th of December. Has the government for one moment confronted the, the reality that those who marched were not the usual suspects, were not the small numbers who you see on every march going, or the small numbers with a, with a protest about some sort of specific issue. This was, it, I do not share uh, Joe Higgins, Deputy Higgins' talk about a risen people, but this was Middle Ireland in revolt as well as those who can't afford to pay. There was a combination of those who can afford to pay and those who can't afford to pay. And you have to ask why this is happening. And to me, it's because Irish water symbolises what is so wrong in Ireland today and so wrong with this government. It embraces so many wrongs and so many attitudes which people now resent that it's united unusual and unlikely forces against the government and this measure. And the, minute, and the Taoiseach was right when he said this is not just about water. It's not. And I think that attitude was compounded and I was staggered when I heard the Minister say this evening when he talked about his legacy. Honestly, Minister, I thought I was living in the funny farm when I heard that. It, I am. And I'm living in this bubble which you guys are creating here. Because what's happening is that we have a minister come to this house, who's only in this house a few weeks, talking about his legacy, which is a disaster of monumental proportions. Let's get on with talking about the people and not about him or not about his legacy. Let's live in the world of the people. And no, nowhere is it more evident than in what you said. And Minister, Minister, let me quote you again. Deputy, and let me quote you further. Where you said that the charging regime is, is not well understood by the public. That is the most condescending statement that I've heard in this house for, 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 since I've come here. The public well understood the charging, the charging of these, these charges. The public resented those charges and they are in revolt against not just the charges but against your government and your attitude. And what is so important here is that we realise that this symbol has been recognised by the government in a humiliating retreat. No such retreat has been witnessed under any other government, even the Fianna Fáil government, in the last 20 years. This bill is, this, these measures are unrecognisable and unrecognisable from the bill that you introduced in this House as a government and guillotined. And that is the second thing that people are revolting against. They're revolting against the fact that you have a complete contempt for parliamentary democracy. You showed it by guillotining this bill, which was one of the most important measures introduced in this House. And to come back here and say, don't worry, the people didn't understand the changes, and my legacy will show that in fact this is a, this is a great institution being set up, is not acceptable. And I regret deeply that the people have taken this attitude. But it's true! And it's true as well, when Minister you said you are going to appoint people of the highest calibre to the board of Irish Water. Is that, that will make a change, that will make a change. Because this government will continue, has, has not appointed people of the highest calibre before. And the people who started off, the people who started off, and we have yet to see who you appoint, but the people who started off here were again the usual suspects yeah. on the board of Irish Water. Let me have a look at them, without naming them. The chair. The chair was listed as, 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 as someone who has been on the board of virtually every semi-state quango that's been going. But she was one of the usual suspects because of this.
And it's so typical of the way this country is run. Her CV on the board, aboard Gas and, and Ervia, which is the parent company, left out. One interesting thing. She was on the board of the Bank of Ireland at the time of the guarantee and at the time of the property of the property of the of, of the property for us. And she was appointed. And is she again going to be appointed to the board of this particular of this particular body? And the other person. And this is important. And the other person that was appointed. And I'm not going to mention I'm not going to mention their name either. But let me say this. Let me say this. Was someone who was put on the board, who's, who the department, your department, I rang up, Minister, and I asked them, who is this person who's on the board of, uh, of Irish Water? They said, oh, we don't know anything about him. That's what their answer was. We don't know anything about him. And further inquiries about this person have drawn a blank. Thank you, Deputy. This is someone who's on the board of Irish Water He's no lady, uh, uh, and presumably will be removed or explained.